hello friends welcome to the channel how to vlan and this is dba vlan stream today in this video we are going to see how to set up transparent data encryption in oracle db version 12.2 whatever i'm going to show you is already there in my blog which is setting i mean this is my blog oracle db planner planner blogspot.com i'll put this in the video description you'll see i have already did a walk through and also described over some known errors and it is in version 12.1 and these are the high level steps so first you need to take care of the sql natura to let the database know where my key store or wallet is and then you need to create the key store and then you need to open the key store and store the master key this is the master key which will be used for the encryption encrypting your table space columns and so on your data specifically mainly so that's the next step which is encrypting the data i I'll, i'll not discuss about this because it will be a separate uh, video and finally making the key store uh, auto login one by making this way you don't have to open uh, your key store every time you restart your database thank you let's get started so the steps involved we spoke so let's get started with the actual execution i have two screens here i already have my environment variable set this is a screen where i i will execute all sql plus commands and this is a screen i will execute all fs commands so we need two screens so i kept two screens and for better visibility i'll keep it in the half screen so you will always see my commands in the bottom of the execution so you you don't have to look at my bottom of the screen so it will not confuse you so fine let's get started so the first step is to examine if you already have a sql natura set up and if it is set up properly or not so it's a fs command yeah i do already have it so what are the variables i need to have if you look at the blog you see this is a information you need to have and i already have it so this nothing this is the this blog or this exercise doesn't talk about this one this is a different parameter or attribute this is our important piece of information encryption wallet location method file you have other options also like external where you can have a physical key also so and then directory where my key wallet will be stored let me see if i have something here already so there is no key vault already created so are stored so let's get started let's go on so the next step check the vault location in sql natura config yes we did we examined it we did a cat and verify if there is any vault already exists so we checked there is no vault existing so we need to create the directory first before we actually create the key store all right so now we have the path for the path for storing the key store created verify in db if it is already enabled i'm sure it will not be but we will just verify it to be sure to rule out any possibilities of mistake am i in the right database performing this validation yeah i am in the right database i'll just copy paste this command so this is select start from v dollar encryption wallet wallet or key store so we verifying whether do we have any encryption wallet created already there is one there is one file path by default this oracle base admin the oracle sid in wallet status not available it is not there so let's not go into the other fields for now so now let's create the wallet before you create it we need to create the directory which we already finished right so let's go create the actual wallet fine let's do this you see here administrate key management create key store so i am creating it in the path user1 app oracle admin ggsrc040 wallet identified by the user and password which is oracle so the key store will be having a password which is identity which is oracle 
okay so now let's examine the keys to uh, wallet again what is the status now you see there is a file and this is there and it is in closed state now earlier it was not available now it is closed so let's not go into the other fields they are sti still the same let's verify if we have any keys huh? the master keys so when you see this status in closed state this will always return no rows you will see it at a later stage but i'm just telling you for until you open this key key wallet or key store you will not be able to see any keys inside the uh, wallet because its wallet is closed you cannot examine it let's examine the file system now right so earlier we didn't have anything the directory itself we only created it now it's just got the file this is the wallet it's created now and key store is created now let's open the key store because if you want to store something in it you have to open the key store right you you will open the locker in your home and then put something inside right L likewise we have to open the key store first so the key store is open let's examine in the file system if there is any change to the wallet no changes it's at the same timestamp the time is 1219 though but it is 1217 only no changes to the physical file but what happened to the what happened to this um, encryption wallet let's look at it right see now open with no master key there is no key you do not have any master key to encrypt the table space or data so that is what it indicates and uh, as the name implies let's see it will still return no rows because there is no master key here so but you see now wallet type was unknown before now it became password because you can now open and close your wallet using password it's not auto login the when you make it auto login wallet type will become auto login so other fields are still same because we do not have any backup so it's undefined and wallet all right what is this field i just check wallet order is single okay okay i haven't examined about this field guys so anyway let's go now read about the next one so we need to set the master encryption key we are here okay so let's set the master encryption key so administrator key management set key identified by oracle now i am setting up the master key with the password oracle again and using master key addition backup i am also creating a backup of the existing wallet so if in case i need it to restore i can just copy paste the backup file i'll show you how the the sorry this label will be added to the backup so that is what is important so you can add any label here which will be added to the key vault file the key vault file is nothing but this one to this key store file the label will be added so in case you want to restore the backup you can restore it so so you not actually create you're creating the master key but you are not actually giving the master key oracle is going to create the master key okay it will be an uh, encrypt i mean it will be having alpha numerical character very lengthy one i'll show you so the master key is created now let's examine the key encryption wallet again you see now it's wallet type wrl so the wallet type is file it's the same path we know it's in open state yes we opened it wallet type is still password and uh, there is nothing has changed order fully backed up became no now earlier it was undefined now it became no so which means that we have a backup it is secured now let's check the encryption keys so we have created encryption key now right you see there is a key now this is the master encryption key which will be used for encrypting all your table space data and column let's examine the file system now <coughs> what is the file system state now you see i told you about uh, the label being identified it adds a timestamp 2023 0826 and 
right and then 51 17 okay so right this is I this is an encrypted field I guess because the first one is date but the next one maybe uh, it's epoch or some sort of thing because it's not 12 22 or something so I'll check and let you know what it is so, but this is adder to make the backup unique but I wanted to identify the backup easily so I created this file you see here it is 2400 2400 the backup that was created 1221 it was 1217 earlier right now 1221 the file was created fresh and you see the now the after the encryption keys added the size of the became nearly doubled okay so okay if uh, so I will just show you how to create an encrypted table space okay that's the purpose so I'm not going to show you though how to load the data which is a separate exercise it's very straightforward though I do not have any table space in encrypted form this just tells you what is the impact of uh, making the table space encrypted so so I'm going to create a table space so before I do that I don't know no, what is my path so but still I wanted to use OMF so for creating the table space I'll check it I'm just running through all the views here so encrypted table space usage history and are there any secrets stored and uh, we have any columns encrypted so table space encryption column encryption I don't have any do I have any wallet then none so let's create the table space so this is my path so let me create it so now I have my master key created and the wallet is open so I am able to create the table space with encryption otherwise you will not be able to see here create table space storage is this size is 1m auto extend on 1m encryption using AES256 the encryption uh, algorithm default storage and we mentioning the table space should be encrypted okay the table space is encrypted table space is created let us repeat all whatever we did in 5a now let's again assess encrypted table spaces now you should get some field you see here table space number 5 is encrypted using encryption algorithm AES 256 is it encrypted yes encryption encrypted key is this master key ID is this and uh, blocks encrypted and then in decrypted blocks and uh, the table space status everything is there okay so now let's move on let's assess the db usage metric so the table space now is created it's having eight blocks a eight kb or eight mb is used type break so we don't need to assess the create file test huh? client secret is none DB encrypted column still none because we didn't store any encrypted column yet wallet also is none we did whatever we have to do and we will just assess the table space information so encrypted encrypt ts1 is the table space name 8192 block size and uh, I'll probably show you only one thing that's this table space alone then I'll show you only the relevant field table space name and block size so it's it's encrypted it will say yes in the encryption yeah hit someone so I'll show you but it doesn't show you anything about which which type of encryption and so on I think see it says encryption is others are none so if you so see in summary others are no only this is encrypted okay now we need to make the key store to have auto login okay so or also you say it is local auto login because we are going to have your auto login 
file on the server itself it's also called the sso single sign on you know about it right so uh, so the command that we need to run now is this administrative key management create create auto login key store until now we created key store so you see from key store so we are going to create an auto login key store which means we are going to back up the existing key store and we are going to create a new key store which will be an auto login one identified by oracle login okay so the auto it's altered let us assess it okay see it's still the same nothing has changed its status is open and wallet type is still password and rest all fields are still the same so let's go ahead and check the encryption keys okay encryption key is still there but uh, it didn't doesn't make any difference right we didn't make any changes to it so if at all you want to assess the other fields it doesn't make any difference so just breezing through it nothing changed let's assess the file system and i will show you the difference now you see now we have a single sign on earlier we had this e wallet uh, 12.21 now you have e wallet see it's c wallet now c wallet dot sso okay sso indicate that uh, it is auto login okay now we need to restart the db to make the auto login effective let's go and do it here take a minute all right um yeah it should finish really very fast all right now done so let's start the db okay it's done okay it's open now let's assess the key store type now again okay now it's a file u0 app oracle admin gg search 04t wallet status is open now you see the water wallet type earlier it was showing password now it became auto login so rest all fields still the same right and let's assess if you have the encryption key still with us so that's the important one right yeah it's still there so no issues uh, there will not be any change to this files but i'll just show you all right so no rules so let's assess in fs if there is any change to the files 12 28 12 21 so now 12 31 but the files have not changed a bit from the past okay so hope you like this video and um, like i say thanks for supporting me and uh, if you like this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe to how to be channel and i'll see you in the next video thanks guys